Good morning, and welcome back. Another dose, JM Ventures. Good morning. To yeah, good morning. I've had some coffee. But today's video, we're just gonna do a little short tour around the Disneyland Hotel where we've been staying the last four days. This morning, we're checking out and saying goodbye and flying back home to Canada where it's actually hotter than here. So, crazy, but we don't have any palm trees. So sad. That's enough of that, though. We're literally gonna show you around a few of the places that we found, maybe places that we ate, or places we didn't eat and we wish we did. But uh, yeah, we're gonna show you all the fun stuff right behind us here at the Disneyland Hotel. So, thanks for joining us today, and let's go do it. Disneyland Hotel. Fancy hat. It is a hat indeed. It's the iconic hat. Now this isn't the front entrance. I'm gonna go around to the front entrance when we first came here on Saturday and show you guys what it looks like inside. But we're at the, the front of the hotel here uh, where you come and get dropped off if you're riding an Uber, driving yourself, all those good things. We have our bell services right behind us here. And on the other side, on the other side, we got the convention center, which you can access by going inside. So yeah, you get dropped off, you're happy, you're going to see Mickey, just like we were a few days ago. And uh, your magical experience begins. Check out the magic carpet. I'll have to say, whenever you get here on your first day, it always feels super, super magical. I actually quite like this mural that's on the wall. Now when you first walk in, after you look at that beautiful mural, you walk over to your left side. You can find guest services where you can check in. Also, must I note here that if you forget your toothbrush and toothpaste because you packed for last second to make it a surprise birthday for someone, you can come down here and they'll actually give you a, a toothbrush kit and uh, even razors. I didn't know that. That was cool. Free of charge. You just need to speak to one of the guest services agents when you get here, which is cool. And as we did a few days ago, you can get some magical water while you wait to check in or after you check in. Cheers. I always love having the water right there. You're always thirsty. You sat in a hot car on the way here. Or even if you were just walking in the park, just come and grab some ice cold, lemony tasting water. Just had some water. It was not very lemony. It was orangey. Yeah, my lie. My, my bad. I'm sorry. Telling lies here. Orange, but I've seen all kinds of fruit in it depending on what resort you're at, so it always changes. This is the main Fantasy Tower uh, building that we're in. There are four different towers uh, here on property at the Disneyland Hotel, one of which is actually the DVC uh, Tower, which is where we stayed this last week. Oh, this is where you can do some shopping. A good place to drop all your hard earned money. Like most Disney gift stores you got shirts mickey ears even dvc stuff which is kind of cool puzzles hats all the good stuff stuff for kids stuff for adults pins yes back up a little bit babe and if one gift store wasn't enough for you on the other side of the elevators here there's a smaller gift shop which actually sells like chips and uh, things like beachwear beachwear and like even if you forgot some amenities like your razors or uh, drugs like Advil <laughs> <laughs> yes that's what I mean or candy And then when you go at the back side of the tower, it's kind of like back side of water almost, because there is water. This is where some of the pools are. Uh, Trader Sam's, uh, a couple other restaurants. Uh, let's go check a look at the pool and some of the cool other amenities that are around this area. We got the coffee house, which is only open actually during like the mornings I find, maybe early afternoon, but it's definitely not open up in the evening. 
coffee shop has obviously coffee and like light sandwiches, bagels, really crowded in there and I didn't want to walk in there and uh, film everybody so just had to respect the people. Goofy's Kitchen, that's right, that's where I go and cook. Uh, <laughs> well, my parents used to come at Goofy. This is where you can have dining with the characters. Yes, this is where you meet Mickey, I'm assuming. Hopefully at least Goofy. I, we have seen Goofy, all my parents. I have seen Minnie in there as well. So yes, bring the kids, they're gonna love it. It's a lot of fun. Maybe one time we'll actually have to come back and actually eat here. I just I love how there's lots of shrubbery. <laughs> Plantation everywhere. Plants, not plantations. Plantations. Plants, whatever. Uh, you know what I mean. You just, you're like immersed. You got all these tower buildings around you, but you're still kind of in the, in the jungle. All right, I'm gonna show you the pool here. Okay. Nice looking pool. Over on this side, same pool that goes under the bridge. We've already got the monorail on the side. Yesterday on Jody's birthday, we actually took a spin right down the monorail water slide. It goes perfectly fast. It's a lot of fun. Jory likes it because you go fast. But it wasn't Who doesn't fast like it? that you wreck your bathing suit. It's always a good thing. Angora Terrace. This is a place where you can get the famous Dole Whip. Pineapple Dole Whip. Jody loves it. Oh, and we actually had one and she says it's not open so we can't actually have one for you right now. Which is kind of a bummer. I thought maybe it would be open but it's not. Uh, right here at the this store that's all shut right now is where you can get your dough whip or you might be able to put some rum in it if you want however they have another little quick service area here where you can come in and get some muffins and some cereal or whatever you want take away and eat it And literally the same building, just around the corner, is where you find the famous Trader Sam's. I don't want to give it all the way to you, but what you want to do is you want to go get a reservation or get in there, order some fun drinks, and the magic kind of comes alive inside. You can also just sit outside, but you want to watch the magic that happens inside. We've done it years ago, and I know they still do it to this day. And if the hot summer California heat wasn't enough for you, you could also just sit beside the fire and enjoy a nice sit in a seat. A seat, a sit in a seat. You can relax. You can just relax. Lots of places in the seat. Around. So, anyways, this whole area is in between all four towers. That tower being the one we came into when we started. There's another tower here. Don't get dizzy. I'm going to spin. Another ta third tower here, and the last but not least is the newest, the Disney Vacation Club Tower, right over here. It's a little different color, it doesn't match color-wise with all the other ones, but you know, when you come here to stay as a Disney Vacation Club member, you'll know which building is yours. Where we stay for the last few days. I gotta say, when you walk in, the AC is just blowing full blast in here and it feels so nice after a hot, long day of actually walking around the park. So we just have a couple more things to show you. Um, if you're interested in seeing the whole room tour, we literally did a video about that a few days ago. It'll be linked below. Go back, watch it. It's cool, it's fun. You'll also find out that Jody had no idea that we were going on this trip and it was a big surprise and that reveal is in that same video. So, really top notch video. So. Um, this is the Palm Breeze Bar, yes. You can come down here and sit in some of these nice comfy places, enjoy the music. You can also just take your food to go, which uh, we almost did one time, but we did not do. <laughs> so we come to the newest pool area here at the Disneyland Hotel Resort that was built when they built this tower. And uh, we did some swimming in here on our first night. 
and they got a hot tub and they even got a little kids steam boo willy area actually matches the shirt I was wearing in another day here same and it's steaming that's really oh, cool that feels so nice. how the water comes out like that that is really cool that is really cool also I forgot to note when you first come in there is this area where you can buy some more DVC points because you never have enough Disney Vacation Club points ever nope but now we're in the elevator and we're getting near the end of this video because we have to go and do the sad thing of taking our luggage and going back to the airport to go home and saying goodbye to Mickey but we just wanted to say hello to you guys say thanks for joining us on this Disney trip that we've done this last week Aww. and there's plenty of more Disney coming so stay tuned make sure to let us know would you ever stay here at this hotel is it nice enough for your standards because mm. it's definitely nice enough for mine <laughs> and last but not least make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't already and you like our shenanigans and you want to keep following us hit that subscribe button because we're going everywhere literally and we have a lot of fun when we do it. Anyways, friends, that is all for now. Until next time, we will see you on the other side. Bye.